For every 50 grand, you're gonna need a million bucks, but a million bucks are what? Cash or net assets? What's a net asset? Net asset is the difference between the value of something and any debt you might have on it, right? So say you own a property that's worth 700 grand, but you owe the bank 500 grand, it's only a net asset of $200,000. Okay, everyone look at the bit of paper. Now, by the way, I'm sure every single person had their passive income number written down on their bit of paper, right? If not, quickly do it now. Okay, whatever that figure is for you, 100 grand a year, 200 grand a year. And look, if you're one of those people that's not really sure, let me put it to you like this. How much do you earn a year now? Is that enough? Okay, but maybe you can use that as something relative. What, do you need double that, triple that? Just a bit more than that? Less than that? Okay, now if you wanna know where you're gonna need to get to, what asset base you're gonna need to accumulate, here's what you do with that passive income number. Take that passive income number, and the first thing you wanna do is double it. Then after you double it, add a zero on the right hand side of the number, just in case, okay? So double it and add a zero. So let me walk you through it. Say your passive income figure was 200 grand a year. Where am I gonna need to get to? First thing you do is double it. 200 grand becomes 400 grand. Add a zero, four million. Okay, if you accumulate a net asset base of four million dollars, that'll reliably and conservatively produce you a passive income per year of $200,000 a year, which will then allow you to live the life that you wanna live.